All right, welcome back on Talk Back. We continue with Catherine Davidson, Alexandria mayoral candidate. We have another call coming in. Good morning. You're on Talk Back. Good morning, Ms. Davidson. Thank you for taking my call. And thank you for coming on this show. Um, I think it's very important that, uh, that the people who govern us uh, give access to, to average people so that they can uh, discuss things. And, uh, and freedom of speech is vital. We all know that, especially the people who listen to this station. And so I was wondering if you could explain. I, I watched that YouTube video of when it appeared that you had Cornelius White thrown out of that meeting because he mentioned that the Democrats as a national party have that big thrust or had that big thrust to defund the police. And, and it, we know the crime that's exploding all around the country. Um, Cornelius, I, I, I know he's fervent. He's emotional. But he loves our country. He loves this area, and he works tirelessly to try to impact it for the good. Um, can you explain why you felt it was necessary to have him expelled from that meeting when it was a meeting to see, hear from the people? And I'll hang up with Steve. Thank you for taking my call. Take another call. Good morning. You're on Talkback. Hey, Big Al and Trish. God bless both of y'all. Really enjoyed the show just like the other caller and stuff. Thanks, sir. I want to say something about Katherine Davidson. Now, she said she's been all over the city. She hasn't been over here. Now, she said that uh, I had to be kicked out. Now, that was a public forum on public safety. I did not have to be kicked out. I didn't say anything untoward. You can look online. You can go to YouTube, Cornelius Lawson White. A guy set up a account for me showing that I said nothing wrong. Now, Catherine is mad at me, I think, because I'm a strong African-American man, and I support the Constitution, I support the flag and stuff, and I love the police. Now, I don't understand... And I'm so glad Dave took up and, and said what he did. I, I'm, so, I'm so impressed with Super Dave, our UPS driver and everything. The, the thing about Catherine that I don't like, we have a constitution, a First Amendment, saying that you have a right to freedom of speech. Across the river in Pineville, those people can talk freely after the meeting is over with. They don't have to vote and say, well, we can vote against you or vote for you, anything like that. Now, it used to be in the city council meetings, and this was under Ned Randolph. It changed under Jacques Roy, because Roy doesn't want you to speak either. He's the same way, just like Catherine. No, you don't want people to speak. And like I said, Catherine has never been over here. Now, she sent a mailer out and stuff. Jacques Roy sent a mailer out. He's never been over here. And Jeff Halls, he sent mailers out. And his people have been over here in the neighborhood and stuff. So I don't know where she said she's been over here. She's been all over ten, town or ten anything seconds, like that. Days. Ten seconds. I'm up against a heartbreak here. Okay. But anyway, Al and Trish, she's lying. She doesn't need to be mayor. And um, that's the way I feel about it. So God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you for the call. We can take a break. Nice.